Alright, in this video, we are going to talk about gout. Gout is an inflammatory arthritis in which the monosodium urate crystals deposit mainly in the joints. Gout is characterized by recurrent attacks of uh, red, tender, hot, swollen joints. The attack is called uh, gouty attack. In more than 50% of patients, the monosodium urate crystals are deposited in uh, metatarsophalangeal joint, which is the proximal joint of the first toe. The crystals also can uh, deposit elsewhere in the body like uh, olecranon bursa, elbow, wrist, fingers, knee, ankle, subtalar joint and midfoot. Now let's talk about etiology. According to dietary causes, increased consumption of alcohol, red meat and seafood all complicate gout because all of these increased purine level which break down into uric acid. Gout also may be due to genetic predisposition. Other diseases which may complicate gout are uh, obesity, diabetes, chronic uh, kidney disease in which uh, the excretion of uh, uric acid is impaired, then hypertension and leukemia. Both chemotherapy and radiotherapy can complicate gout. Gout also occur as a side effect of some drugs. Those are uh, diuretics, aspirin, AC inhibitors, immunosuppressive drugs. Now let's talk about pathophysiology. In our body, we have DNA and RNA. They are constantly broken down when new cells are made. After several pathways, we end up with hypoxanthine and guanine. Both of them further broken down into xanthine, and we finally end up with uric acid. Uric acid is a waste product, it should be excreted regularly but what happens in uh, gout is there is either increased production or uh, decreased uh, excretion. What actually increased production is either increased infusion like increased uh, consumption of meat or increased degradation of DNA and RNA like in radiotherapy or leukemia. What alcohol plays in gout is it decreases the filtration of uric acid because breakdown products of alcohol competes with uric acid in kidney. Now let's talk about diagnosis. Arthrocentesis is done to see whether uric acid crystals are present in the synovial fluid. Then check for uric acid levels in the blood. Then we can take an x-ray of the affected joint in which we can see the accumulation of crystals. According to the treatment, the initial aim is to settle the symptoms of an acute attack. To decrease the inflammation, NSAIDs are the first line of treatment, mostly indomethacin and ibuprofen. Colchicin is an alternative to NSAIDs. Steroids also found as effective as NSAIDs. Repeated attacks can be prevented by drugs decreasing serum uric acid level like xanthine oxidase inhibitor which inhibits the conversion of xanthine to uric acid and uricosurix which increases the uric acid excretion. Surgical removal of crystals is indicated in patients with chronic gout. Without treatment, the episodes of acute gout may develop into chronic gout with the destruction of joint surface, joint deformity and painless tope. That's it guys, I have linked a video for surgical removal of crystals in the description. For more videos like this, like and subscribe.